<clears throat> Hello, my name is Eduardo Noel. This is part two, lab six, biochem chemical testing for methane red, uh, vulgus, procouser, and catalase overview. It is June 3rd, 2020 for bio 225. Here is my card. So I gathered all my materials for this experiment already. I cleaned my um, surface, work surface, and this, and I was able to get my, um, I let the specimen incubate for 48 hours. Uh, I, ster um, I was able to sterilize my test tube and dry it thoroughly. And I was asking me to use a permanent marker to label two tests to each with E. coli and the epidermatitis. So, <clears throat> All right. And so that's done. <clears throat> Next extraction, it says carefully pour the incubated MVR label equal on each of the corresponding tests to repeat the broth label for you. the equal line. Let me add more of the other to the other side. Okay, to even it out. Okay. Uh, you should have approximately the same amount of broth of each four tubes. Let me double check. Yes. No. Okay, yes. Okay. Using a scissors to remove the tip of the methane uh, red reagent pipette over a trash can. Use a wet paper towel to carefully wipe the scissors after cutting the pipe and throw the paper towel into a trash can.
Okay. Okay, here's my reagent. All right. Uh, pipette, seven drops of methylene uh, red reagent into the E. coli and into one of the E. coli and one into the epidermis titus tube. Okay. Seven drops. Okay, it says immediately observe the color of the broth after adding the, the um adding the drops and record it and record it table one. If test is positive, the broth will turn red or pink in color. It is both positives. All right. Immediately observe the color of broth after adding the drops and recorded data. If the test is both positive, the broth will appear. All right. So observation, uh, color change. Take a photo of results, upload the image for one and two. Um, photo booth. So just taking pictures of my specimen. Alright. Sorry, I had to grab another phone to take the pictures. 
No, it says the two remaining tubes of the Vegas Pro uh, Pro Scouser test. And it says remove the tip of the Barrett A reagent with the scissors and add 12 drops of each test tube. Gently mix by swirling the test tube. Barrett A. Oh, drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then another drop drops for the S epidermatitis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, that's twelve drops each. And it says gently mix by swirling the test tube. And then it says remove the tip of bear A, bear B reagent pipette with the scissors and add four drops to each testing tube. Shake the tubes gently for 30 seconds to expose the content of oxygen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then uh, shake thoroughly, gently for 30 seconds. All right, that's 30 seconds. And now it's asking me, um, place the tube in the test tube holder and let them sit for 30 minutes. The, uh, the tubes must be not disturbed for 30 minutes in incubation period. So I guess there's gonna be another video for this one. Uh, my name is Eduardo Noel. This is part two video for lab, uh, lab six biochemical testing for methane red um vegas pro counselor and catalyst overview today is um june 3rd 2020 so i let this incubate for 30 minutes